Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danky coming to you live, representing the Shibboleth lifestyle. And I'm happy to be here with you this morning. It is Tuesday, March 2nd, 2022, and we are on day 61 of the 2022 edition of the Game of Life. Y'all know I like to think of this as a game. Let's go play. Let's play well. Let's run with endurance. Let's learn the rules. Let's learn the strategies. Um, and let's play strong. I hope that you are playing strong. I ended up with a holiday yesterday, though, because I just didn't feel like battling. And it was March 1st, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to enjoy not having to concern myself with the battle. And you know what? We can make the adult decision to do that sometimes. Um, so, let's see. Today's word for 365 names, titles, and, and attributes of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is crucified. Jesus was crucified for our sins. Now, in order to receive that gift, we have to believe that he did that. We have to believe that he did that for us. We have to admit that we're a sinner, believe it and confess upon his name, and we will receive Jesus. He was crucified for us. So, and our sins are crucified with him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Kind of goes along with what I'm going to read today from Acts for you. Um, but when you hop on here this morning, please say good morning and what type of Shibboleth day you are going to have today. Um, I have an intermittent fasting day planned on my schedule and I've got a busy day. So that should keep me occupied and I'm happy about that. And then this evening I have nothing to do, which is amazing. And I am happy about that too. So, um, from God's Little Instruction Book 2, this is um, the quote for the day. The discipline of desire, sometimes I have to think through these things when I read them. The discipline of desire is the background of character. The discipline of desire is the background of character. And one of these, the, if this reminds me a lot of times of you know, I, I, I like to watch the show Downton Abbey, and I'm re-watching it right now. Um, the discipline of desire is the background of character. It's amazing that, you know, they make a lot of mistakes. but well, we all do. They make a lot of mistakes in that show. But they also, they will discipline that desire. And they do have pretty good character most of the time. Um but this is just, it's just interesting to watch that show and then see this and know that they attempt to make good decisions. And um, now they don't always, and I know that we probably attempt to make good decisions and we don't always. Thank goodness for um, the Lord's saving grace and repentance and forgiveness. Uh, but the verse is 1 Corinthians 9, 27. But I keep under my body and bring it to my subjection lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. So when I read that, I think about the fact that when we're preaching to others, if we're not doing the right thing, but we're doing the preaching, that's, that's where the word hypocrite comes from, you know, is that you feel like you can tell everybody else what to do and judge them when they don't do right but you're not also doing it. So when you hop on here this morning, please say good, good morning where you're watching from and what type of day you're having. Actually, I think I already said that, but now I'm going to read and see who's here with me today. Um, good morning. Good morning, Diane from Columbus, Mississippi. She's having a holiday for her 31st anniversary. Let me give you a success spinner for 31 years. Congratulations for that. And this is the type of day that's so holiday worthy. I mean, what a wonderful celebration. Enjoy that. And thank you so much for sharing the Shibby Show this morning. I appreciate that, Diane. Good morning, Cheryl. I am F Day in Clarksville, Georgia. I've been thinking about you this morning, Cheryl, and how I could make my, di my days writer and tighter, and you are an example of that. And I just want to thank you for being that example because I did think of you this morning. 
Hey, hey, Rhonda, good morning. Happy Wednesday. We're glad you're here with us this morning. Hey, Michelle, good morning. Perfect day in Carrollton, Georgia. That's awesome. Hey, Dana, good morning. Finally broke below 150 for the first time in decades. Congratulations, Dana. That's awesome. She's having an IMF day to celebrate that in Mulvane, Kansas. Thank you for typing in the word of the day, Michelle. Crucified. Crucified. And you know, I have a note in my calendar. I've got, I read all the notes I have in my calendar to the people in class on Monday night. And they probably thought, man, this girl needs a lot of reminders. I do. I need momentary reminders. You know that song, I need thee, I need thee every hour, I need thee. Yeah, I do. So I have a note. And this, my note says, I actively surrender to Christ's righteousness for me. Because you know what? His, his righteousness, if we've accepted him as our personal Lord and Savior, is our righteousness. But sometimes we have a hard time, you know, forgiving ourselves for things that we've done and stuff like that. And so I wanted, I read this in a devotion I was reading, and I wanted to make sure that I did this daily. Actively surrender to Christ's righteousness for us. And I'm thankful for that gift. So I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, okay, Amanda, good morning. Having a perfect day today with a hemp bar wow challenge. Enjoyed not having to battle yesterday too, Kim, LOL. Yep, and I actually thought of you, Amanda, yesterday. So glad to get back to it today. And isn't that a funny thing, how we enjoyed not having to battle one day, but then we, we're so excited to get right back to it because we do know the feeling and the beauty of a perfect day and what it can do for us. And that's another beautiful thing from the Shavolith lifestyle. We can decide, I don't want to battle today. And you know what? I have six days a month that I can do that. Um, thank you, Michelle, for typing in that word. Hey, Charlene, good morning from Michigan. Having a perfect day. And Rhonda, I am F Day in Troy, Alabama. And, you know, and, and that's the reason I decided to come on here and say what I said about just decided to have a perfect day yesterday because I didn't want to battle. Because I want y'all to know that that's also something that when I have these perfect days, it's not like it's, ooh, smooth sailing. It's an all-day battle. It's an all-day battle. And um, usually afternoons, like between noon and four. That's why I have ended up eating lunch, dinner, excuse me. That's why I've ended up eating dinner at four because it gives me a way to have that out. But then I don't really have the desire to eat after that. So we all have to figure out what our little things are and work around them. It's like Travis talking to somebody who works like a different shift or, um, you know, like works at night or something. And He's like, you got to figure out what works for you, you know, in your waking hours. And well, I had to figure out what works for me in my weird time to eat hours. <laughs> oh, oh, that's sweet, Charlene. Thank you for wishing um, uh, Diane and Gregory a happy anniversary. Hey, Kathy, good morning from Michigan. Having a perfect day. Good morning, Sheila. Hey, Polly, good morning. There's a perfect day in Dalton, Georgia. Hey, Charlene. Oh, Charlene's got congratulations again. I love Charlene is like the congratulatory person today. I love it, Charlene. Hey, Michelle, good morning. A busy IMF day in Michigan, unloading motorhome to sell so I can move to Jasper, Tennessee. Well, welcome to the South. Come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. I'm sorry. Every time I hear come on down, that has to come out of my mouth. Um, Hey, Michelle, um, okay, we got lots of congratulations going on. I love that. Hey, Chris, good morning. I am F Day, Jacksonville, Florida, trying not to stress. Doctors, medications, Medicare, and VA dramas. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Lord, help me sort it all out as unexpected bills roll in. Yes, yes, yes. Put that on a payment plan, $25 a month. Um, so we, we'll be praying for you, Chris. I'm so sorry. And your sister, believe me, I've been thinking about your sister too. Hey, Landra, good morning. I am F day in Indiana. Hey, Rhonda says I got two wisdom teeth removed Friday, so I can't eat many solid meals. Enjoy some high quality protein <laughs> shakes. At least now we know what to do when you have a high quality protein shake. Uh, there's Patty. We're both watching that Downton Abbey. Uh, Angelia, good morning. Angelia, I wrote your name on my prayer board yesterday, just to let you know. 
praying for your new job. Watching from Asheville, North Carolina, having an IMF day, my job going well so far. Awesome. And thank you for writing in that verse, Chris. And Suzette, a perfect day in Southeast Kansas. Thankful for my Savior who died for my sin. Discipline of desire is the background of character. Hey, Andrea, good morning. Good morning from South Georgia. Hey, Sharon from Hickson, Tennessee, having a perfect day. There's Brandy. I just want to tell y'all, I get messages from y'all. Brandy messaged me yesterday, and I just want to, I'm just so happy that I'm a part of what you were trying to do each day and that y'all want to help tell me what's going on. So, Heidi, send me your info today, okay? And, um, and I appreciate that I can be a part of what you're trying to do. And I have compassion and I have passion for people trying to achieve this goal. And so I'm thrilled to be there for you. And Brandy, great job. Brandy's doing a great job in Ackworth, Georgia. Having a perfect day today. Hey, Tammy King, good morning. Perfect day in Valdosta. Hey, Stephanie from Loganville. I did the same, ended up with a holiday yesterday. Today I have to do better. Today... We're just going to have a perfect day, you know, yesterday. Well, I ha see, I knew Zaxby's was last night. See, there's not a lot of things that will, I can forego a caterer's food, but you put Zaxby's coming to an event and it's like, hmm, I think I might want to have Zaxby's tonight. Let me have a little holiday during the day so I can eat that Zaxby's tonight. Weird, stupid stuff. But anyway, I did it. Um, Andrea, good morning. Um, oh, thank you, Andrea. I love it. Good morning, Tammy Cross. Good morning, Samantha. Happy Wednesday. I am F Day. Chatsworth, Georgia. God loves us where we are. We need to love ourselves and make ourselves a priority. That's true. That is true. Hey, Christine. Good morning. Uh, Tiger 16 day today. Thank you for sharing, Patty. Patty says, I love how EFB feels. It does feel good. It could, it's really great to know. Enjoy those flames. Those EFB flames. You've got a special day going on when you're an EFB. Um, Chris says, it is an all-day battle. After 6 p.m. is her hardest time. Yep. You got to figure out your hardest time and figure out the best way to work around that. And Diane said, it's also graduation day for my participants and families count parenting classes. I'm so proud of them. That's awesome. And Diane, I wrote your name on the prayer board yesterday, too. Um, Polly, good morning. Polly, choosing to battle today. Awesome. And you know what? I like the way Polly put that. We do have to choose to do that. And today she's like, no matter what, I'm going to do this. Starting plenty of water and journaling. And we do have that shield to help us battle. Um, that's sweet, Nancy. Encouraging Chris. I love that. Let's see. Kathy says, I got the, uh, rough. I don't know what those words say. Your day yesterday without having one, even though the person who brought them to the office told me I need to have some fun once in a while. Listen, they do not need to tell us what to do. Um, I told her I had plenty of fun days, but this isn't one of them. Kathy, good job in standing up for yourself because these people don't know. Um, oh, okay. So I don't know what you're talking about with this PAXZ thing. But it looks like it might be near a donut. Not a fan anyway. So why do I need to have an unplanned holiday? Kathy, I love that. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got through it. It's called Fat Tuesday. I call it Fat Bus Day. <laughs> That's funny. Um, struggling with water because of my schedule. Yes, Christine. So when that, when that happens, when we have those moments with the water, I always just say, just get in the minimum. I mean, it, get in the minimum. Yay! Charlene also resisted that temptation. That's awesome. That's wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Pearl, we do pray for the afternoon from South Africa. We'd love prayer for God to refill me with his Holy Spirit and restore my faith. Pearl, he will do that for you. He will certainly do that for you. Um, oh, Kathy, my goodness, 1,200 calories each. Man, yeah. See, it's amazing how we can make decisions based on what we know. All right, so I'm going to be reading to you today from Acts 8, 21 through 24. I've got to change these glasses again. 8, 21 through 24. You can have no part in this, for your heart is not right with God. Okay, so this is the okay. So, 
this is where the um, word of God is spreading in Jerusalem, Samaria, Judea, and to the ends of the earth. Okay, because persecution has started, but because of Stephen's death and the apostles were all together, but the other believers had started to scatter, and that's how the word spread. But they met a guy named Simon who had been participate he'd been a sorcerer for many years but then he saw what really the source was not the sorcerer and he believed but then he wanted to pay some money to have the um, gift of the holy spirit and they were like you don't you don't pay money to get that it's a gift peter replied may your money be destroyed with with you for thinking god's gift can be bought you can have no part in this for your heart is not right with God. Repent of your wickedness and pray to the Lord. Perhaps he will forgive your evil thoughts. For I can see that you are full of bitter jealousy and are held captive by sin. Pray to the Lord for me, Simon exclaimed, that these terrible things you've said won't happen to me. So, what Tony Evans said in the Bible commentary is... Repentance is God's mean to limit or reverse the consequences of sin. Repentance is God's mean means to limit or reverse the consequences of sin. I'm so thankful for that reversal of the consequences of sin. You know, the wages of sin are death. And with repentance and acceptance of God's gift... It reverses the consequences of our sin. Then he says, It is clear that Simon was a believer. That's that sorcerer. Though one in extreme error. He was in extreme error. Listen to this. This is what kind of reminded me of Shibboleth. Years of practicing magic and claiming to have divine power had resulted in bitterness and wickedness in his heart. Repentance and prayer were needed to root out the evil ways and desires that had so long been a part of his life. God is not a slot machine to be used to fulfill our carnal desires. But the sentence that really stood out to me, Repentance and prayer were needed to root out the evil ways and desires that had so long been a part of your life. Y'all have heard me say many times when I found Shibboleth, I was 49 years old. When you've got 49 years of habits to change and people want to say, oh, in 21 days, you'll have a new habit. I'm telling you, it is not 21 days. 21 days is a wonderful and great start. It's months and years and effort and practice to, look, look who visited me, to get this done. And this is why we have a management System. This is why we have Shibboleth to keep us strong every day, to give us something to lean on, to cling to, to follow, to um, guide us. And, and it's wonderful. So, sit down, Daisy. So, it was clear that Simon was a believer, though. What an extreme error. Do you know we can be a believer and still be an extreme error? You know, that's why Travis says, forget everything that you thought you knew about nutrition and do this. And you can't, like yesterday, what I talked about is you really can't chase two, you can't chase two rabbits and catch one. Do Shibboleth. And then you'll catch it. Years of, and I'm not going to say practicing magic like he said, like this person. Years of bad eating habits had resulted in those habits that were deep-rooted in our mind and in our heart. Repentance and prayer, I believe, are needed for healing those two. So that's why I wanted to bring that up today. And let me see what y'all are saying, and then we're going to hop off of here. I've got a dentist appointment this morning and a meeting. A glorified jelly donut and a Michigan thing. Fat Tuesday, the door. But, oh, okay, okay. Daylight is longer and temps are warmer. I know I am so... Look, okay, do y'all see this new... Do y'all see this new reflection in my glasses? That's because the light is changing outside. 
that has not been on my glasses. Well, now the, 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 the axis, the earth is tilting on its axis in a different way. And now I'm getting that shadow. I mean, that, that light. But let's see, Sharon says, daylight is longer and temps warmer. So glad springtime is nearer, giving me extra motivation to eat right and move more. Yeah, and I was asking for that this morning, Sharon. When I walked out on the back deck and looked around, oh, it was gorgeous. And I thought, help me do right, Lord. Thank you, Charlene. Great job not giving in. Hey, Daisy from the Kemper Pack. Chris, your little puppies, their face and that little tongue sticking out and their little pink lips. Oh, it's adorable. Let's see. Patty says, Shibboleth helps us get into good habits. That's true. And Sharon says, my Shibboleth third anniversary is coming up in April. Had a memory in Facebook from nine years ago when I determined to lose it and keep it off. Lifetime struggle, but pressing on. That's exactly what we do. I posted Hebrews 12, 1 this morning. Let's run the race with endurance. And so my, my third anniversary is also coming up in April, Sharon, on April 10th. And Polly says, I thank my God for Shibboleth. You know, he gave it to us. He gave it to Travis, and it has spread just like the Word of God has spread. It spreads grassroots effort. Um, Patty says, I have made walking a new habit, and it feels good. That's right. She's getting out there and walking. And hey, Nicole, read. I see you hanging out on there. All right. Well, we're going to hop off, and I, I hope you all have a wonderful and perfect day. And Patty says, move your bodies, do what you can, live purposefully. That's awesome. Oh, they're one week old today and weigh a pound. Well, they are adorable. Absolutely adorable. Okay, y'all go journal your day. And then if you're watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. And you know what? Hashtag walking for his glory. Hashtag working for his glory. Hashtag creating for his glory. Hashtag living for his glory. Hashtag everything that you set your mind to do for his, with a capital H, glory. All right. Polly, Polly's 88th birthday is this month. Happy early birthday. What day is it? Tell us what day it is, Polly. And I look forward to helping you celebrate that birthday here with lots of hearts. Hopefully it's on a weekday. Hopefully it's on a weekday. All right. So this is a little delayed. She'll type that in and we will see. But hopefully it's on a weekday. Y'all have a, oh, the 29th. Okay. 29th is, look, got my calendar because y'all know I love a calendar. Okay. We will be able to celebrate Polly's birthday on the last Tuesday of this month. All right, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye.